God, I fucking hate this. Yeah, but, but like, we fought her, like, like, nine or ten Let's Plays in. Yeah, we did. Like, yeah, so, like, 53 Let's Plays later. Yeah. We beat the bitch. It we did it. It as though your old memories have been awakened. Yeah. Yes, I saw the divine heir. I see. I won't say any more, and neither should you. All that you saw was yours alone. Yeah. Sculptor, what did that Buddha show you? Were you listening? Tell me. Flames. Flames. That is all I can see. It doesn't matter what offering I make. Flames spreading as far as the eye can see and consuming Ashina. That's... We're done here. Damn. That's interesting. I don't think I talked to him after that. Uh, That's great, yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking, because... How do I get the continuous flamethrower? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I already have it. Oh, no, I don't no, have it. I need, have I, need, it I, need I, I, I need money, that's you right, because I remember I, I got the thing I needed. I can get it for you for money. Another time. Everything. I can tell you for money. Everything is money. Watch how Grandpa topples a, a civilization by turning a one into a zero. But anyway, what, what, like, what's your take on, like, what, I, I have some more oh, things to say, but, like, what's your, like, because, like, that's, that's, like, ridiculous, like, all the, well, there's a lot of DCEU movies now, a lot more that are a lot good. Shazam is probably the one that I think is the, is the greatest tone change, but it's still visually a very, it still visually looks exactly the same as all the other movies. Yeah. Batman v Superman, Man of Steel, and Justice League are all all look exactly the same at the exact same they're the exact same movie and they're all quite not good yeah visually they all look the same i think what that person might have been trying to say was um how the plots of the of the marvel movies are formulaic yeah, but that's what that's what they that's what they say, and I give them that. Oh yeah. But then they're like, I can see a director stamp. It's like bullshit. Taika Waititi's stamp is all over Thor. Oh Thor yeah. Thor one. Th Thor. I've never seen Thor two. I have no urge to see it. Yeah. Because Thor one was so much of like, eh, it happened. The the most thing that I can remember about Thor one is I'll have another, and he throws the thing down. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Ta I know nothing yeah. of Thor one. No. Yeah. Yeah. Thor Ragnarok is like so. It's irreverent. Different. Yeah, yeah. It's so it's so different. It's like, and that's Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi is has a movie coming out where a, a little German Nazi boy has the imaginary his imaginary friend is Hitler, and they go on adventures. That's Taika Waititi. Yeah, it's quirky and fucking weird as shit. You yeah. see that all over Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, and you want to tell me that you can see who, who besides Scott Snyder or Scott Snyder, right? Uh. -huh. Who else directed any of the uh, of the DCEU movies. And what stamp um, have you seen? Zack Snyder, time? you mean? Is it Zack Snyder? Yes. Who's Scott? Oh, Scott Snyder, Scott Snyder writes for DC. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Zack Snyder, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, um, like, what, uh, what's, who else? Who else? Who else has anything? I honestly don't know. Yeah, like, I and what stamp? I legitimately do not know. Where's where's the Edgar Wright where you can be like, look at th this is a stylistic choice. Where's the James Gunn where it's like, look at how he w w blends music. Where's the Taika Waititi who can really make a, like a quir a, a quirky movie and give heart to the quirks. Like honestly, I can see why like My Lord. Thor Ragnarok made Thor a character for me. Like Thor Ragnarok, the the Thor and Thor Ragnarok. I maybe he's in two. Again, I haven't seen two. I have no urge to ever watch it. But the Thor in Infinity War and Endgame as comedy in heart, and I that's pulled directly from Ragnarok. Yeah, and that's because and, of Watiti. Yeah, and I honestly, and that was something I was gonna say too is um um it like some people criticize Thor Ragnarok, and I will give it this that it was too funny, which yeah. that that is something I will give it. Like it was it was hilarious, but yeah, I, I think kind of towards the climax it should have toned down the funny moments yeah. and and brought in more of the drama but the big thing with thor ragnarok is thor ragnarok is it's not it's like yes it's about thor doing some shit like he wants to stop um hell but it's more so about his development because yeah. it's the, the movie is about thor getting knocked so fucking far down oh, the just, best 
Jesus. Why is she asleep? <clears throat> hey. Oh, oh, wake up, bitch. Shinobi of the Divine Air. That I was awaited weird. your return. Um. Do you know it? I so, believe it is known as a soccer um, droplet. Um. I have heard is Thor Ragnarok is about Thor having to like climb his way back up. He it literally begins with him captured by an enemy and just being like, eh, I don't give a shit. To like he loses Mjolnir, he loses his dad, he gets fucking booted off to like yeah, he loses an eye, gets his ass booted off to like a fucking other like um, like planet gets captured and is just treated like shit. It is, and it's about Thor having to come to grips with the fact that he is, um, who he is. Like, what's who the best is... line of that movie? There. What's the oh, best line of that movie? Oh, uh, the meme. Um, you can't defeat me. I know. No, that's, but he can't. Well, that's okay. a that's a yeah. good meme. But yeah. what's the the pivotal line of that movie? I don't remember any You're lines. You're not Thor, God of Hammers. Oh yeah, you're like, Thor God. It's yeah. all about him learning his who he is, what he can do, and just believing in it. Is that's that, Thor Ragnarok? Yes, it it's again like I said, like the tone of all the movies and like the formulaic tone is 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 happening with uh where they're they're really building up more comedy. Like Ant Man has a, quite a bit of comedy in it. It it works and it continues to work. Like the 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 like you said the whole comedy towards the end like it's funny at the beginning the suit the suitor thing at the beginning where he doesn't give a fuck it plays into the whole like this is thor at the top of his game he doesn't care he's cap he he got captured by himself and then he's totally fine with it and then gets beat down it works that way thematically but then towards the end when like the hulk jumps from the ship and then smacks on the it's like at this point the, the stakes are high enough let Thor, let Hulk have his moment where he just turns. Like we don't yeah. need, we don't need any more of this bullshit. Like yeah. it's it's a hundred percent non necessary. Um, but like, I I I get what they're saying with like the tone, but the if you want to complain about the tone of the uh, the tone of the movies being the same, like they didn't start the same. They started working that way because a it started to work and b the universe is becoming more connected where it's like all these characters are set like that that's why like like I, I think infinity war and endgame are so comedic because of like they've established these characters as kind of like uh like semi-comedic and now they're all coming together so they all have to like kind of pair off of one another so it's a bunch of like they they're they they're the heroes in their stories they have to have like one or two comedic lines in their uh, uh in their movies but now they're all coming together so now they're kind of like all just like zinging back and forth and it makes sense. While yes, it's a sometimes at times it's a bit too comedic. For the most part, those like moments all make sense to me. Like the interactions between in Infinity War between Iron Man and uh, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh Because yeah. I've watched Iron Man be a sarcastic asshole through three movies plus more, and uh, because I've watched Star Lord and all those guys be quirky characters through two other movies, I, this it all made sense. None of it ever felt like. Because the characters were built up that way. But the tones in DCEU are all like, everything's serious. All the time. Yeah. And and, and, I, and someone even kind of pointed this out. I don't 100% believe it, but it, it, I guess it kind of makes sense. They're like, the concept of superheroes is already kind of ridiculous. You know, people dressing up in tights fighting crime. Yeah. And so it's like, it kind of makes sense to make it more lighthearted. But I'm also like, I can take superheroes seriously because... Yeah. Um, it, for me, it's more about the, um, in-world development. Like, if they're like, superheroes are a serious thing in this world, and you present that to me, I'm like, cool, I can accept that. But, um, but I, I do agree, though, it makes these movies more fun because they're more comedic and lighthearted. It's not 100% serious all the time, which there can be times oh, did you ask her for rice? Oh, I did not. Oh, well. Oh. Um. I mean, just my, there uh, can yeah. be times where like a mo where a superhero movie should be more serious and can be more serious, but it's like there's a difference between serious and dark. Like dark is just like mood, like grim, like Ugh, nothing matters, everything's bad. I'm I'm I don't want to have this conversation while uh, I fight the ape. Um, and other times it can be more serious, where it's like no, this is about this character, like Logan. Logan is a is dark and serious, but it's more serious than dark i would say yeah it's more about this important story whereas like it, it feels a lot more like like shock value at times with the shit that happens in um 
in um fuck uh why well, I, I like I don't have a problem with like the tones like like like, it's, like like yeah like tone can be different and very like you can have a serious movie I'm just saying it's like the criticism of 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 the tones being the same like is is uh, throughout the movies is ridiculous if you're gonna do a comparison you can't say here's a movie where the only movie that I know for a fact is it has a different tone in the entire DCEU is Shazam yeah. it's the newest movie out and. You could say that they're replicate, like you could make an argument that they're trying to replicate the success of. But but it also movies. makes sense for Shazam. Exactly. It's literally 100%. about a fucking teenager who becomes a superhero. A hundred percent. I agree. That's why I'm saying you can make the argument. I'm not. I think that that movie's great. I like there. I get Wonder Woman, and I've heard Aquaman is pretty good. I haven't seen Aquaman yet, but like Wonder Woman and Shazam are good movies. I think that they made all the. Oh shit! That was quick. Okay, I'm just gonna, gonna die. die. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, quick quick aside here before we resume these this conversation about like the all that shit. Um, I read that I should stay close to him during his first phase. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. they said you can block his shit, and a lot of his attacks leave him vulnerable. And interesting thing, if he if I stay close to him and he tries to throw the poop at me, just run under him. It'll miss. It, it, he can't throw it under him, and nice. he can't pivot in the air, and it because and he's vulnerable when he comes back down. Nice. Okay. But, um, uh, like, oh, get him. Nice. Good hit. Wow, that did a good bit of damage. Did you confront the memory as well? Yes, I did. Okay. So I have more attack power now. Perfect. Oh, get him. Nope. Nope. This window is so small. But, like, um, I, I just, it's just, it's just a ridiculous, uh, like, thing to me to mention the color palette and the stamps be, like, like, yes, the criticism of the tone, uh, like, that's a fair for anyone to make. I, I, I can make arguments about why it works, but it is a fair criticism to make from uh, MCU. But to say DCEU, something as ridiculous as they have a better, they have a more varied tone, a more varied color palette, and, like, you can see the stamp of a director on there. It's like, that's not the case at all. That's just false. But, not to, so that I don't just seem like a, oh, Damn, you would just hit your knee quite hard on the desk. Sorry. Not to seem like a, uh, uh, like, so that I seem just like a Marvel fanboy. One instance where that is absolutely the case is something we've talked about a myriad of times. The DC, uh, AMU, or the DC Animated, Animated Universe. Universe. Yeah. Is phenomenal. Fucking phenomenal. It's so, it's so very... And we can, we can cut out, we could literally do where it's the, it's the, the through line starting with, like, Flashpoint to the Justice League, all those, um, all those Batman movies and everything like that, and cut out, like, even the gems that are, uh, uh, like, Batman, uh, into the, like, into the Phantasm, Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker, fucking, um, uh, what was that one? Oh, the, the Under the Red Hood? Yeah, all Under that. the Red Hood is my favorite. Yeah. Like, all those fantastic ones that technically aren't part of an overall universe, like, those are great and varied as well, but we could just look at that one fucking universe, and it's got such a variety of movies. It's got, um, uh, The Flashpoint, which is, like, super fucking serious, with people fucking, like, getting murdered all over the place. It's got, like, a alternate universe Batman, spoiler alert for anyone that doesn't know the Flashpoint storyline, fucking just straight up shooting a evil version of the Flash through the chest with his, like, fucking beating heart, like, clear on display in this animated movie. It's like, what the fuck? And then, uh, just lighthearted shit like the Teen Titans versus oh, the Oh, then Justice. they him, fuck you, life. Fuck you, life. Man, I just, like, if, if, if you want... If you want to... Oh. That fucking branch. Saved. Save, uh, trees today are saving the shit of you with monkeys. Dude, I fucking love trees, man. They give oxygen. They save my life. Trees are the best. I give trees a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, trees. 10 out of 10. Oh, shit. I know. I was trying to jump and hit him, and I jumped too far away. I didn't away. realize how well you were doing this run. Look at that. This guy's about to run towards him. Nice. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, I managed. I oh my god! I Hero. Alright, cut his head off. Ah, oh, fuck, you still got a res. 
Yeah. You got, still got two pellets, still got a rest. Okay, I don't need that. Um, I want the loaded spear, because apparently if you hit him right yeah. in his neck with the loaded spear, you it'll will, pull out the, yeah, it'll, it'll pull rip out, out the, the fucking centipede and you do like do a massive, massive amount damage. of damage. Yeah, yeah, it's a after a certain attack where he's super vulnerable. Yeah. <coughs> so let me just Okay, I'll get the divine confetti. And uh just for and uh pacify agent. But yeah, we've said it like in our friendship multiple times. MCU hands down handedly kills the the, the 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 film version of everything. But animated films animated films You mean DCEU, sorry. What? You mean DCU, you said MCU. Yeah, the MCU is killing it. Oh. Is killing it in the like, Oh, I thought you meant killing is in ruining. Oh no, it was like is killing it. Like they're killing it. They're they, they they're at the top of their game. But the uh, freaking DC animated movies are so good. Like Like, it is insane uh, how, how well they are. And they're so variety, because, like, there is just that animated universe that's still coming out with movies. But then there's, like, Batman Hush, which came out, and it's... Oh, wait, Batman Hush is in it. No, what's the... Oh, Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. It's like, that's some variety right there. It's not in the animated universe, but it, it doesn't matter. Like, they can do, like, offshoots of that. It can be their What If on Disney Plus or whatever. Yeah. Ooh. That's a good way. Bad. Stop that. Wow, he just stood there and took that. Yeah, I think I, stu I think I stunned him. Oh, does he still take a stu uh, stun every fourth? I think he's. I think. I think in some way he still gets a stun. Shit. Cool. I'll use a pellet then instead. Be careful though, because you're still a one hit a bullet. Yeah, point. I know. Damn it. Oh, that. I would save uh, this last gourd for when you res and get yourself to full health. Yeah. So like. Yeah, because be, right being at like after after you're below a certain amount of point amount of health, it doesn't matter because you're just yeah, no, one hit will kill you no matter what. Yeah. Oh, that hit me! Damn. Fuck, because he does like a forward thing, so I'm like, ooh, I'll use this to jump. Yep. Oh, damn it! Okay. Yeah, he'll wind up and just start smacking the ground and be. Oh, wow. I can't believe I missed it. Okay. Oh, yeah, interesting. You could still do Mortal Draw without, um, without Xeromums. Yes, it just doesn't do as much damage or have as much reach. But it, uh, but but you it still, still does hit, a good amount of damage. It still does a decent amount of damage, and, and he takes extra damage from this, too. All right, not bad. Oh, Divine Confetti. Yeah. He's going to slam the gun. Damn it, okay. Yeah, we, if you're under him for too long, he'll do, like, that slam thing, and okay. I'm pretty sure, like, you just gotta get out of the way. Okay. Because, like, you can block one or two, but it'll just start hurting you. Alright, that's pretty good, though. Yeah, no, I, I think it's good. I just also need to do better on the first round. And, uh, I, like, I, ideally, I need to go into the second round with as many, um, uh, gourds as possible. Hey, I'll take on that on scene. Hey, duh. This real quick. They're 30 each at this one? Fuck that, dude. Is it at the different ones, or is it I've just noticed at the it's, more it's at, I think it's at the different ones, because I know I've bought them at different, different amounts at different ones. Yeah, but I, I just think it's like the more you buy, the, the, the does it, will it go up? I mean, that would make sense, but also I'm like, can I just fucking, um, just teleport to a new one and just not deal with that? Jump! No! Damn it. Why did I mortal draw, even though I... Partially did it. Let's start over. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's let's redo that. 
Let's um rewind. Let's say, let's say rewind. Let's uh let's press uh left trigger in Prince of Persia, Santa Time. Good game. Well, when are you coming out with an HD well, remake of that? And Life is strange. No one knows what that game is, Ryan. No Everybody one's ever heard of that, that game. game no, one, no one's ever heard of that game. That game is stupid it's and shitty. It's a great game. It's a great game. It's a shit it's a game. Decision making game where you don't have to worry about the decisions you make. But then you get like, to overthink it like I do. Oh yeah, I definitely made a decision, saw the immediate consequences, rewind, made the other decision, saw the immediate consequences, rewind, did it again, did it again, did it again, and again. Just kept seeing the same immediate consequences, like, I don't know which one of these is better. Incredibly rude of this man. And very, and very incredibly rude of this man. Oh, no, I don't want the spring alarm one. The spring alarm one is shit. Ow. Wow. Let's start over. Ah, oh, damn. You gotta res. You gotta res. Yeah, you gotta res. I, play safe. Just just like... Yeah. I mean, honestly, if, if he does that jump attack, you can just jump over him and whack him a couple of times. Yeah, and, that's and what I just need to do. 